inkjet transfer papers for dark garments can't be masked with application tapes. So a lot of times you'd have to transfer each of these letters piece by piece. Um, but we do have a little bit of a trick that kind of works with the 3G jet opaque paper. That once it's printed and cut and then you go and weed the excess material away, and it is a little tricky, but it does work if you're in a bind and possibly have to transfer a really complex design like this. But we'll show you kind of how to get application tapes to work with the particular issues that a paper like 3G can pose with it, um, basically just in the fact that it's difficult to peel off of the backing. So once your design has been cut and you've weeded away the excess material, and we've already done it on the smaller letters, but if you can imagine, when you lay this tape over the letters, you're gonna be peeling in one direction to another. So if you can kind of imagine, like say, if we put this tape down and then we peel from this edge upwards, the leading edge of these letters that it's grabbing is gonna be this bottom edge. So I've taken my weeding tool and just run it along underneath the very bottom of each of these letters and kind of just underneath each face of it a little bit and just lifted it off of the sheet. So it's still held down by this top part, so it won't move on you while you're trying this, but it does make it easier for the tape to lift it off because it's got that edge started already. Go ahead and do that. And then take this tape, just kind of drop it over, center out. Use the squeegee to remove any air bubbles. And on this side, squeegee even more to really push this transfer off of the backing sheet onto the tape. So now at this point, rather than peeling the mask off of the, the paper here, we're gonna try and peel this paper away from the mask to leave all of these letters. Let's grab that little piece. I actually tore that, but you could probably save it and not really notice a line here. Just kind of do the same thing again. Lift that majority of the letter, tack it back down. Good as new. Just keep going. And it's probably gonna do that again with this little S. It's so just kind of as you have these little problem pieces, Keep an eye on where that peel is starting at. Make sure it doesn't grab these letters. And if so, you can kind of just help them along letter by letter. But for the most part, and now you take this transfer and easily apply it to a t-shirt, all in one. So taking our cut, tra our cut and tape transfer, apply it to the t-shirt on the heat press. And with 3G, we press for 15 to 30 seconds at 350 with medium to firm pressure. Once done pressing, you're gonna set this aside to cool down completely before removing that tape. So once your transfer has completely cooled off and it's totally cool to the touch, just peel this tape layer back up. And your transfer is all finished.